I got the Nocta Macro Pulse Dive Pinpointer here. This pinpointer can go 200 feet underwater, right? Right now I have the land coil on it. And you can take these coils off and change them out for a 6 inch coil or an 8 inch loop, right? And this pinpointer can go 200 feet underwater. That's just unheard of. For, you know, right around 120 bucks, you know, you can get a pinpointer that can go 200 feet underwater, right? But on land, it's a different story, right? I actually was given this. Um, uh, Delet Gonule from Note the Macro gave me this. You know, I'm, I, I communicate with Delet all the time. Very good friend of mine. And she asked me what, what I wanted. I can have anything. All taken in video, <laughs> of course. She declined on that one, right? Seven thousand dollar metal detector, right? That's one thing that I don't have from Nota is an Invenio. I have field tested that machine, and it is freaking amazing. Super complicated machine, but it is very effective, right? This pin and pointer right here is a pulse induction technology, and I'll show you what it does to VLF machines. I have several machines here, right? Thank you, Delic, for this pinpointer. I will use it this summer, I promise. But I'll turn this pinpointer on and test it with my VLF machines, right? Pulse induction pinpointers are not compatible with VLF detectors, especially multi-frequency VLF detectors, right? And I'll show you that here. This machine would, this uh, pinpointer would be very good for hunting underwater um, if you don't have a, another metal detector, right? Like if you're at the ocean and you're scuba diving or, or uh, uh, snorkeling, you know, you're, you're going to hit on a lot of non, uh, you're going to hit on a lot of ferrous targets too. But this thing would thrive if you are underwater and this is the only thing you have, right? Oh, I'm going to turn this. I'm going to turn uh, the Equinox on. I'll try the Equinox first, right? <coughs> Keep in mind that this is the 6-inch coil on the Equinox, right? Oh, is it dead? No, it's not dead. Right? I haven't charged this Equinox up in a long time, so... I really don't use it anyway, so... Multi-frequency part 2. Pulsing already, so I'll go to park uh, field field one. Field one, see that? See, I'm getting a lot of bumping action. See that? Six, five feet away, right? Four feet away, right? It's still pulsing on it, right? Right. Field two, right? There's just no way. There's no way you can run multi frequency, right? Four kilohertz. 5 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 15 kilohertz, 20 kilohertz. Oh, it's falsing on 20, right? See? All right. You can't have this thing near 40 kilohertz, right? It's falsing. Right? Now it's from the simplex on. And it has three buttons too. I just turn the simplex on, it just goes bat crap crazy, right? I'll turn this, turn it off here, right? It shuts the simplex off too, right? Or it, it quiets the simplex down when this is off. I'll turn this on, right? It's good that the simplex has that mute button right there on it, right? <laughs> See, it's going crazy, right? That's field, uh, that's park, field, Right. Right. No simpatico. Right. Now I'll try the ORX here. The ORX. My Deus One is charging right now, so this pinpointer still on. Right. 
it's not too bad. Uh, it is pretty bad. It's going fast. It's going deep. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Oh boy. Okay. All right. It's deep program right here. All right. I'll turn it off. Turn it on. All right, just falses, right? Just con constant falsing with this pinpointer if I have another detector on around it, right? And yes, I can change the frequencies of this detector or offset these frequencies, but it just doesn't work, right? Now I'll try the Deus 2. <laughs> All right, I'll try the Deus 2. And I've seen a lot of videos of guys using pulse induction pinpointers with the VLF detectors. And PI pinpointers struggle big time. You never know how much you struggle while out detecting until you get something that works a lot better, you know? Like the older machines, how they did, just didn't pinpoint very well. They, um, they were very heavy. Once you get lighter machines and you get machines that pinpoint a lot better, then you understand how much you struggled in the past, right? We don't have to struggle that much, right? We don't have to struggle that much. If you get a pinpointer that works very well, you know, stay with it, right? Stay with it for a while. And then maybe if you get another pinpointer, a better quality pinpointer or a, a pinpointer that works better with your machine that you're using, you know, then you realize how much you struggle. You never know how much you struggle until you get something that works good, right? So this is Deus 2. You know, a lot of, a lot of people suggested me using, uh, getting, testing uh, pulse dive or pulse, pulse induction pinpointers because they work good in my soil, right? It works good in my soil, but not this pinpointer. They work good in my soil, but they're not compatible with the detectors that I'm using, right? All my other detectors don't have mute buttons on them, right? The only detector that has a, a mute button on it is the Simplex, right? None of these other machines have a mute button, so I can't shut it up, right? When I have my pinpointer on, right? going crazy right three feet away four feet away right four feet away right and that's just in day deus mono right i'll go over to the fast program here right right here's part program i right? see And watch, I'll, I'll turn, I'll turn this detector off, I'll turn the, the Deus 2 off. Right there, see that? See? It pinpoints large targets, but those smaller pieces of foil or those smaller items, you know, that are in the soil there, it struggles on, right? Especially if you have that, that uh, protective cover over it, right? I used that, the pulse dive pinpointer for about three hours um, on a hunt there when I was testing it the initial day. I just couldn't do it any longer, right? It was not pinpointing well on land. So if you want to get a pulse induction pinpointer um, and be using it around VLF machines, you are going to struggle, right? And you never know how good your product is until you get a product that is better, right? Or a product that is worse than it, right? And I've bought a lot of pinpointers in my days and I bought a lot of metal detectors in my days and some of them are not compatible with each other. This is different technology, right? This is pulse induction technology, completely different from VLF, very low frequency detectors, right? 
they're not compatible, right? I've seen a lot of videos where guys just struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle using these pulse induction pinpointers with a VLF detector. Not going to happen, right? Not going to happen. Not compatible with each other, right? Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.